Hi everyone, my name is Adnan. I'm here at Holy Mary College, Yale, prospectively majoring in applied math. I'm Martin Bakoc. I'm at Ezra Stiles College at Yale, and I'm thinking of majoring in computer science plus economics. Awesome, well nice to meet both of you. Could you guys walk me through what you built today? Yes, so our project is called EduCafe. It's essentially a social media website for universities, and it aims to break down the barrier that we believe exists on campuses around the US, which is this very tense formality that exists between students and professors at their university. So essentially what it does is it allows professors to host and host roundtable discussions, which we call edu meets, with their students about a topic of their choice, um, at a place and location of their choosing, and with as many students as they tell the website they would like to meet with. So, so they're very, there's like two sides to the website, one uh, UI for students and one for professors. Uh, so there are two different user experiences here. Got it, well yeah, can you walk me through? This sounds super cool, yeah. Of course, yeah. So let's say we're a professor looking to sign up to EduCafe. Okay. Uh, and I'm gonna hand over to Martin. Okay, so now we can see we are a professor re registering for uh, signing up uh, as a first time user. Okay. We have to use our yale.edu Yale email. Right, as a, right. Uh, yale app for now. Yep. Now this is a very brief form uh, which uh, we need you to fill out uh, right. in order to create your uh, in order to create your uh, account. Yep. And um, so we're gonna ask you for your username, your, your Yale email address, uh, your, your name. Sorry, I was bugging. No, no, no worries at all. This is pretty cool. Is this a live feed of us right now? It yes. is a live feed of gotcha. us Gotcha. Right Wait, tell me a little bit more about how you guys got that working. Uh, it's essentially uh, like the canvas tag in HTML. Okay. So actually what it is is it's a running video, and then when you want to take an image, you can click capture, and it basically freezes the video gotcha. into an image tag. Wait, can I, how about we get all three of us in the frame? Is that possible? Yes. Yeah, yeah, okay. let's see if we can get in there. All right, yeah, let's get in. All right, let's take a good profile picture. Awesome. <laughs> and then we can put in a, uh, your, basically your field of research or department. So let's say we're a computer science professor. And then a short bio. So I and also for yeah. uh, our purposes today, uh, I think we should use like a uh, URL. So of, what, uh, as, yeah, as well as uploading a profile photo, you can also upload sort of like uh, an image. Uh, I see. Okay. From Google. Right. Right. So I believe we found. So what's a what's a professor you like? Yeah. How about uh, Professor David Malin? <laughs> sure. Yeah. That would be great. So now we just uh, copy and paste the URL address of. Uh, some of the photos of, of the professor. So if David okay. Malin really happens to like this and prefers not having his photo taken in Right, line, right. He so can it, just, it looks a little bit more professional. He can I just see, upload okay. this um, image address. Gotcha. And now David Malin, or we oh, wow. call him okay. John Doe, yeah. because it's just an ambiguous professor with David Malin's profile. <laughs> right, right. Um, but now they have an account on our website. Okay. Uh, but basically, as a professor, all you want to do with our website is post a uh, enemy, right? A roundtable discussion. So now we can do that. So let's say we another another brief short form uh, that uh, is to create the enemy. So we're going to ask you for date and time of the enemy when so you want to meet. We can say 2 p.m. or let's say 2 not 37. Oh, oh let's say. 3.35. Yeah, we can do 3.35, yeah. <laughs> that's after lunch. I think that's plenty of time. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's say we'll do it at Holy Murray Dining Hall, which okay. is my college's, the best college's dining oh, hall. Oh, okay. I don't know if I agree <laughs> with that, but we'll, we'll let that slide. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you can choose the number of student participants you'd okay. like. So let's say we want to do 10. We ask uh, the professors to limit the capacity because we, we uh, we think that the... Uh, I mean, it just creates a more intimate uh, environment. Right, that makes sense. You want to meet one-on-one -on -one or in small groups. Right, right. Yeah. So then we post the uh, topic of discussion, which let's say CS50 at Yale, okay. since it is David Malin's profile. Uh, and then we're going to review the post. And this is how it's going to look to the students wow, that see it. Okay, gotcha. Uh, and if the ha professor's happy with it, how it looks, they'll post it. Uh, and then basically that's, that's it for them. They can go in and view their posts, but really this is a very client or student facing app right. in that the students log in and now want to register for their apps, okay. uh, for their EduMeet, sorry. So now as a student, uh, I'll sort of let you sign in. Yeah, sure thing. With right. your Yale email. Sounds good. Let's go and do this. All right. I should go and fill this out? Yes. Okay. Awesome.
You know, that's a great password right there for sure. Yeah. Yes, yes, that is phenomenal. Yes, looks like, uh, let me see if I can type here. It's because, yeah, it, yep. it's a bit laggy because no of the No worries the at all. Yeah, yeah, no worries at all. Let's see. Oh, yeah. there we go. Awesome. Charlie, and let's get my last name there. I'm in the class of 2024. Let's give it a second there. I think there's a bit of a, like a delay. Right, right. No, that's no worries at all. <laughs> all right, 2024. Awesome. I am a CS major. Amazing. And I am in the best residential college, Berkeley, of okay. course. Yeah, I yeah. do like Berkeley. It's, all right, it's so that's good. That's good. That's awesome. Yeah, very yeah. cool. All right, and then let's, uh, let's see if I can put in biography here. I'm guessing that profile picture viewer is taking a little bit to load, right? <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't yeah. know if it's a profile picture, actually. I think oh, it's what? actually the sync. Um, gotcha, okay. Is it usually pretty quick. Awesome, yeah, all right, so there we go. We got my biography, and let's uh, create a so profile. So now you've logged in, okay. and we have some, basically, because you're a new user, you're looking at every Edumeet that's been posted on this server. Right, right. Uh, so we have some with Peter Salovey, and you go left to pass, right to sign up. Oh, okay, so that's a really smart interface. Yeah, yeah, yeah so okay. let's pass on Peter Salovey for now. Okay. And then we can view some of the other Eddie meets. Okay. So we have one with Jay Lim, which yep. I believe we just signed up for, but the sync is a bit yeah. weird. Um, no, that's good. I always so, want to talk more with Jay anyway. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah. Um, but you can actually now check your email, and it okay. should let you know that you were just registered for the oh, app. Wow, so I just got an email. Okay, Hopefully. Yeah, yeah, let's take a look. It might take a little bit. We all know how slow the Wi-Fi here yes. can be. Yep, yep. Especially here, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, let's see here. Oh, I did get the email. Oh, that's awesome. There we go. And yeah. let's say, so, so basically, it, you're registered now, so you can't click into this. Mm -hmm. But let's say, and, and it will show you that you are registered for this one. Yep. But let's say you want to register for another one that you happen to swipe left at, but now you're thinking, you know what? I really do want to meet Professor Salovey at, or uh, President Salovey at Commons. You can uh, go into this one, read the information, and then decide, you know what? I want to sign up. Click sign up. Then it will take you back to the page where your EduMeets are. Now you have two, and you should get another email from us letting you know that you are now also signed up for gotcha. this EduMeet. Okay. Um, and of course, you can go back and view all of them. Uh, there are no. Uh, well, there, I there. just got that email you were talking about. Wow. Yes. <laughs> yeah. um, so these are all of our edu meets. When professors post new edu meets, you'll be able to see them, like the one you just posted on uh, the last time. Right. So we can swipe right to that, and you'll get sorry another email. I promise it's the no, last no, one. that's fine. No, this is good. Uh, but basically, every time you sign up, we let you know. Uh, you can scroll through all our edu meets to sign up for more. And then finally, you can view what you're signed up for and prepare for the EduMeets. Mm. Now, the one caveat of using this app is, of course, the interface is nice and you can sign up, but it would be very rude of you not to show up for the ones you've signed of up course, for. Of course, right, right. Because we let our professors know that you have signed up. Mm -hmm. So it would be great if you can uh, show up to these three locations. Well, absolutely, yeah. <laughs> oh, now, now you got me for sure. Of course. Yeah. Um, so that's how the app works. Oh, yeah, awesome. Well, great job, guys. This is a fantastic project. Can you tell me a little bit more about perhaps what was the more difficult parts of building this project? This seems like a very complex, well-designed project, right? Well, definitely the most challenging part of the whole project was uh, the implementation of the swipe feature. Mm, okay, yeah. Uh, that, that was uh, something that took us a lot of time, but we, we considered it very important because that is how uh, we uh, abolish the tense formality of uh, students contacting professors. Gotcha. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's also just in general been taking sort of some of the tools we've learned in CS50 and really extending them, doing some of your own research and learning. We had all the tools there. I mean, we really just used JavaScript, CSS, right. HTML, Flask, uh, Jinja, but certain features that you want to implement when you're coding something completely novel like this is um, they, they do require a bit of creativity and learning. But it was really nice to have those tools there. So like with the swipe feature, obviously we didn't learn how to do that in CS50. It wasn't covered in lecture or anything like that. But we were thinking like, so we know JavaScript is a post-rendering language. We know that Flask is our back end. It happens behind the scene. How can we make a connection between our JavaScript file and Flask? So we had to do a bit of research and look into that. But it was nice to have the tools to be able to challenge, um, or challenge ourselves and tackle those problems. So that, that was really nice. Awesome. And again, I guess on the flip side, what part of your project are you most proud of? Because there's a lot here to be proud of, for sure. <laughs> um, honestly, that it's up and running in two weeks. I mean, I think we've worked 
a lot, uh, a, a lot of late nights, but also just a lot of collaboration and teamwork. I think you realize coding is more fun in groups. It's a, it's a yeah. very social activity, bouncing ideas off of each other, and it's just so rewarding having something right. that I mean, seeing this that run for the first time, yeah, and being able really to rewarding. share it with people. I mean, it's it's the right. best feeling. Yeah, I must I must add that given the scale of the project, um, I, I was feeling very. It, it was very rewarding to to see it up and running. And no, definitely, I, I totally get that. And I guess moving forwards, I mean, obviously, this is a very practical, useful project, yes. right? Like, are you guys planning on launching this in the future? Like, what are the next steps from here? Yes, of course. Yeah. Uh, we have a lot of ideas. Uh, would we want to add uh, or uh, polish? Okay. And uh, yes, we definitely want to work on this in the future and possibly launch. Yeah, coming to Yale's campus first, and then maybe other universities. Gotcha. So, yeah, be on the lookout for that. Yeah, I certainly will be keeping an eye out for this. This is great. Well, great job, guys. Thank, Thank you so much, much again. Yeah. Thank you. Thank yep. you. And this is CS50.